Hello my fellow battle brawlers, I am here today with this a long-awaited video as I've had this thing since maybe about the end of summer of last year since like August I think I've had this thing, I'm not entirely sure when I got it. Uh, but yes, it is time to now open the, uh, what is this called, the Battle League Coliseum uh, featuring the exclusive Darkus uh, Orlis uh the Hellcore X Serpentis Bakugan. Um, so yeah, so this is different than from our traditional cardboard arenas uh, we have seen from the from the reboot series. Um, this is like a completely all plastic Coliseum looking type, type guy here. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so includes this Bakugan. So it includes one Baku Gun, two Baku Cores, one Character Card, one Ability Card, one Battle League Coliseum, uh, one Toy Battle League's Rule Sheet, and one Instruction Sheet. Um, so we can do this. Brawl like a pro in the new Coliseum. Uh, create trick shots with the banked wall, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, we'll also keep the brawl in contained so they don't roll off the table, which is nice. Uh, storage for everything you need, so you can put cards cores and extra Bakugan in there. Um, Coliseum holds your Bakugan until you're ready. So uh, let me just take a second to take it out of the packaging, set it up, and I'll have it out for you in just a minute. All right, just a quick thing. I took it out of the box. Um, now I thought it'd be fun to, as I set it up, I'll do a little time lapse for you. Uh, there won't be any music to it because I don't really know how to do all that. I'm recording it on my phone because I don't have a computer. So yeah, I want to try to do a time lapse of me setting this up. It'll be kind of interesting to, to just just watch back. Okay. <laughs> So I hope, I didn't really look look at that myself yet, I will in editing, uh, but I hope you liked that little time lapse I did, I thought it would be a little fun thing to do. Um, so here we have our Battle Coliseum uh, with the exclusive Halcor uh, Serpentis, Darkest Aurelis. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at this, at the Bakugan here first, uh, then we'll take a look at all the other stuff. All right. So let's take this apart. Let's move everyone's favorite piece of tape. Come on. There we go. All right, so what back of course does he come with in here? Come on. All right. Uh, comes with two shield cores. Uh, let's see, there is a plus 200 B power and plus 200 B power for fusion and a plus 500 B power for fusion. So that's a pretty good one there. Uh, let's see here. His, let's, okay, I guess take a look at this first, yeah. Uh, okay. So he comes with, uh, the Baku, uh, Baku gear, uh, card. Orless laser. For three energy cost, you got Shadow Strike. Uh, plus 200 B power and 2 damage. That's actually pretty good. Um, and then here, here's the character card. Uh, Darkus, base Darkus, uh, 2 shield cores, base 400 B power, base 4 damage, 3 fusion cost. Uh, and that gets you base 700 B power with base 5 damage. This is actually not that bad. This, is, this, isn't, this isn't really that good. Baku gear is kind of good. Um... The Bakugan stats itself it isn't it isn't that isn't that good really unfortunately. Um but yeah. Ah. Alright, so let's just first test out how this guy rolls and everything. Uh you know what, let's spin. Let's actually spin this around uh and use it to how you'd be Facing your opponent. This is a good size. Uh, the table I'm using is basically a table uh, your locals would, would have 
uh, for um, uh, for tournaments, I'm pretty sure. This came from Walmart, uh, which basically looks like the basic table they use. They put their mats on it and everything. Uh, so, yeah. So, let's just roll this guy out and see what, uh, what really happens. All right. Just showing you baseball form. Uh, now this is different from traditional darkest paint. Uh, it is more sparkly, which is kind of cool. It's like a sparkly black uh, with that gold in there. Uh, best way I can describe it is if you've seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and you got Flint Lockwood shoes. Um, it's not quite that, but it's kind of close to that kind of black sparkly. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and roll him out. See, arrow points you to, and I'm probably going to to miss if anything. Yeah, let's try go let's try rolling him off. Okay, so that's how that works. Just want to put a. Yeah, I'm not really going to get this because I'm not using my mat, so I have like no really really no idea how I'm aiming properly on this thing. Yeah, that doesn't work. Let's try putting the core here. That doesn't work either. Okay. Let's just... There we go. So he looks pretty cool. Pretty cool looking. Uh, his back feet here are manual parts. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so if you can see, he's a little bit sparkly. Uh, spots for back of gear are... On his wings here, here, and on his back, behind his neck, on his neck right there. So, yeah. So this looks pretty cool. It's got that green spark, the green paint there on the tail. Uh, his back gears are his uh, B powers right there. See, so he looks pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts on him uh, down below. To close them up, we don't have instructions, so we're going to have to figure that out for ourselves. So this there. Close this. Let's do the wings and then the tail. And that's, uh, that's that. And I suppose we could just take this spot here, just rest them in there. Uh, so yeah, so let's move on down to this whole storage component. As we open this, you have spots for your cards, your cores, and one, two, three, a team of six. Back and gone. Uh, so let me get my current team out here. See if I can add my deck, my deck to it. Not really. Oh, I'm putting it in wrong. <laughs> I mean, can it fit sleeved cards? That's my question. Oh, it can. How about that? All right, so it can fit sleeved cards. Your Baku cores. And then your team of Baku gone. And just slide that in. Ooh. Uh, maybe you can't fit sleeved cards in there. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. It looks like you can, but all right. So that would be sleeved. Uh, let me just count out thing of 40 cards I got going on over here. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay. Okay, I counted 40 cards. Uh, if we put these in... Unsleeved, it just slides right in there. Um, so that, yeah, so that's that'd be unsleeved 40 cards. 
And then we were to add a sleeved 40 card deck. Uh, you can see the height differences there, more so. Oh, we got a card, looks like that slid under there. Oh, okay, so this just comes right out. So we have, so some cards slid out on me. Yeah, so let's put this back in, just close it. Well, that is quite unfortunate. Even a 40 card deck can't really fit in there. Yeah, so unfortunately a 40 card, I don't know. They thought they designed this or counted properly, I suppose. Let me just double check my account to make sure I do have 40 cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 okay okay counted them i had 41 cards in there so let's see if that makes a difference i don't think it will oh maybe it did a little bit there make sure these are in the right spots okay yeah so basically exactly a 40 card unsleeved deck will fit in here which is really unfortunate and if that does ha and then this yeah see then this happens so maybe, so something wrong with the design process in this, but you can't really fit a whole 40 card deck on here sleeved or unsleeved without you having some issues. Um, so you're basically going to have to split them in half, I suppose, like that, and then do it that way. But, you know, GBU. Uh, but yeah, it's a good spot to store your, I guess, your back. It's a good spot to store everything. Um, you just can't store everything. That's the problem. Um, you can have maybe about 12 cores or here or so. Maybe like 6-6. Six, six. Maybe you can fit like a few more on here. Maybe like 3 or 4. Um, yeah. I just had like my current team. It has to be updated. Uh, I just haven't been any tournaments in like over a year, so I haven't really, <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't really updated my deck yet. So, anywho, uh, so yeah, so let's just lay down, let's lay down here just to see how the whole curved up thing goes. Uh, let's go ahead, add in some more Baku cores. Let's just see if we can get a better chance of uh, getting a back gone to open up. All right, so we got this guy going. Let's go around. Okay, so, hey, there we go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so you can have lots of fun with. Uh, the Battle Colise Coliseum, is it? Battle League Coliseum. Um, try to get some good trick shots in, there, in here, I suppose. Not really a whole lot you can really do. Ah. Yeah, it does have the grooves in, but uh, which is kind of on the unfortunate side, as you'll get, like, I don't know, it's kind of bumpy, I guess, but... Uh, but yeah, this is a cool, uh, cool looking thing. You can definitely have, well, definitely have some fun with it with your friends, if you have any. <laughs> um, yeah, truly, really, really work on this. It's all like, all like, it's not completely smooth. Um, I. All right, camera cut out for a second there. 
Uh, but yeah, no, as I was saying, uh, basically, I don't really recommend this for tournament play. Uh, mainly if you're just, just for toy battling game purposes, I do, I would, I would use this as it's, it's a little bit more fun. <laughs> oh, that was, that was something there. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, now I would have checked them off of, um, a checklist here, but looking at them, looking at all the checklists for Armored Alliance here, uh, I couldn't, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm just blind or if there's not anything, but I can't seem to find it. Anything for Halcoric Serpentis, uh, Fusion, uh, you got your Halcoric Rampyrian, and that's, uh, it's pretty much it there. Nothing on this, nothing on, on this one. So if there's, there might be another checklist that I don't know about, <laughs> uh, someone, uh, let me know, because I have the Battle Brawlers one. I have, uh, what, these three Armored Alliance, uh, checklists here, and then I got the Geogon Rising one. Uh, so someone let me know if there's a fourth, you know, Armored Alliance checklist that I don't know about, because that would be something. Um, anywho, yeah, that's pretty much it here for the, uh, Darkest X Orlis. Darkest Slash Orlis, Halcor, X Serpentis, uh, Fusion, Bakugan. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below on uh, on the Battle uh, Coliseum. Um, it's a pretty fun thing. Uh, it does take up quite a bit of space, so I'm probably going to keep it in the box for storage. Because I don't see myself using <laughs> using this anytime soon. Um, I don't really recommend it for, uh, for, like, TCG battles, but for just the toy battling game, I think it's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. Uh, and until next time, my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers, just have fun battling, brawling, collecting. Uh, just remember to stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, practice your rolls. And, uh, you know what? Actually, before I do end up the video entirely... Let's open up a booster pack. Uh, I just forgot about this for a quick second here. Now, yeah, let's open up one Edge of Orlis booster pack. This I did get from my locals because it was like the one of the two packs they had left um, from when they got them in from uh, from Spin Master, like over like end of 2019. Um, yeah, because at the beginning of 2020. Uh, we were doing some tournaments where entries or prizes would get you a booster pack of Edge of Orlis out of, like, two booster boxes I think they had. Uh, this is one of the two left that they had, and I man, I picked them up before all of our stores closed down again. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what we get from inside this one. Alright, so that's a little bit of faded artwork. I can't remember if these are EFS or ENG. Okay, they are EFS packs. Okay. They are EFS packs. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right. Might of Darkest or Mart of Darkness. Hack Attack. Darkest Blast. Body Breaker, Phoenix Fire, Crescent Claw. Uh, we have Stonehide as our first rare. Uh, Chaos Hyper Dratonium as a second rare. Uh, for our super rare, we have Bent and Dusk. I do not have this hero yet, so that's cool. What does he do? Uh, he's Aquas Hero card uh, for five energy. Uh, Plus one damage to your attacks for each hero card you have. That's actually... That's okay. I don't know if I'll run it because it's a it's a five cost. So, nah. And for a hex... We have Vacuum Wave. Not Vacuum Wave, just Vacuum. Uh, for zero cost, stop Orlis. Eh, it's a hit or miss. But uh, yeah, an, a hex Orlis card at the end of this video here. With an Orlis uh, Dark Vacuum. That's pretty cool. Yeah, now it's the end. If you enjoyed this, your video, 
Uh, please leave a like, comment your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Uh, and yeah, till next time, my fellow Battle Brawlers, sayonara. <laughs>